tonight. Adebayo, the son of the former military governor, General Adeyinka Adebayo, who succeeded Colonel Adekunle Fajui in the old western region. To what iniquity, this occasion is both unique and historic. It is unique in the sense that it marks the first time that the homogeneous people of Ekiti as a state will be participating alongside other states of the Federation in witnessing a deserved transition from military to civilian administration. <laughs> Ours was a government that was altruistic. We were not after what we could get for ourselves. The people realized this, so the pressure on government was not too much. We had problems uh, resolving issues for pensioners. We had a lot of problems in terms of trying to put infrastructure in place because the funds just were not there. But we looked for ways and means. We were very altruistic. We made sure that even things that, like our own uh, allowances, we had to forego on many occasions just to make sure that we were in a position to do things that would benefit the generality of the people. As the first civilian governor, Adebayo had a major challenge to accelerate the advancement of the new state within a liberal environment. In our time, even though we did not have that much money, we were able to do things that stood the test of time. Uh, I always, uh, you know, thump my chest with pride when I look at the um, Oye uh, Ayede Road that we, we constructed. To date, of all the roads that have been constructed in Ekiti since the advent of civilian administration, that is the only road that, does not, that is not full of portals and that, that has not failed. We try to encourage uh, industries to come in. We were a major facilitator and a major shareholder in the Kogosi Spring Water, uh, which uh, produces uh, ghostly water today uh, in partnership with the uh, UAC. Um, we were building a uh, world-class five-star hotel for Adoikiti, which unfortunately uh, we had built up to 75-80% completion before we left office. Unfortunately, the administration that came after decided to convert that into a governor's office, uh, which totally altered the master plan. Uh, we did extensive uh, construction work within the government house complex with a view to having a befitting government house complex with guest chalets and accommodation for visiting dignitaries. In spite of complaints of poor funding, Adibayo administration made impact in some areas, including housing. We were able to embark on uh, income generating projects, for instance, the Ekiti House in Abuja which is a masterpiece and a landmark in Abuja itself. Uh, we purchased property in Lagos, uh, Fountain Court in Victoria Island in Lagos, which is a, a complex of uh, eight flats and four townhouses, which is a income generating for Ekiti State. We knew right from the beginning that we were the pioneers and that we needed to make a lot of sacrifice. It was indeed very difficult and we had no precedent laws to fall back on. So that assembly basically focused on assisting the state with fast legislation that will indigenize us and again on developing ourselves. So we focused a lot on training, training of our pioneer legislators for them to be able to uh, you know, accommodate themselves with the uh, Leg le legislative houses that have been on ground. Adebayo could not make it back to the government house in 2003. He handed over to the winner of that governorship election, Governor Ayo Fayoshi.
Content.